Ansible is an agentless configuration management tool. The way Ansible achieves this agentless configuration is by using SSH connections to the devices. Once Ansible establishes an SSH connection to the device, it's able to execute the logic in its playbook by using Python. But what happens if the device doesn't have Python installed? That's where the Ansible RAW module comes into play. The RAW module allows Ansible to send commands over SSH. It's very common practice to use the Ansible RAW module to bootstrap a Python installation on your end devices. Also, if you're managing network infrastructure and not just servers and workstations with Ansible, you're gonna run into situations where the devices cannot run Python. So now that we know why the RAW module is so important, let's go ahead and hop into a terminal and create create a playbook. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here is run the raw module just through the command line. Then we're gonna go into a playbook and create a playbook using the raw module. So to run it in just a single one-liner, you go Ansible and then specify the hosts. And then I'll say all the hosts in my inventory file and then dash M for the module. So the raw is the module. And then you need to specify dash A. This is for arguments. And then the argument's gonna be the command that you want it to run. So I'll go echo hello world. And I actually think this needs to be in quotations as well. So let's run this. And it looks like Ansible went out to all those hosts and ran echo hello world. So you can see node one, hello world, node two, hello world, node three, hello world. So that's just a great example of how easy it is to use. You could do any command here. You could create files, you could echo out environment variables and make sure that it's consistent between all your machines. Basically any sort of command that you wanna run and there isn't already an Ansible module created for, you could just use the raw module to do it. So that's all I wanna show with the one-liner. Let's go ahead and create a playbook that uses the raw module. All right, so we have a code editor up here and I've already created a file called playbook-raw. So I'll start it off with three dashes and this is how you should start any YAML file. And then I'm gonna give it a name. So I'll say playbook to create new text file using raw. Uh, after that, we're gonna specify the host that we want it to affect. So I'm gonna say all here. And then let's make sure we're indented properly. So that looks good. Now we need to specify our tasks. So we'll go tasks. And then give our task a name, which is create new file dot text. And then this is when we specify the module. So we'll say raw. And then you can just feed in a command. We'll go touch new file dot text. And basically what this is gonna do is it's gonna go out onto the systems. It's gonna run the touch command to create a new file. So let's go ahead and run our playbook. So we're back in the command line here and we're gonna use the Ansible playbook command. And then we need to specify the inventory file again. And in our playbook, we're matching on all the hosts. So we just need to specify the inventory file. After that, we'll do dash K and then playbook dash raw and go ahead and run it. You can see it's running our first play, which is playbook to create a new text file using the raw module. So to verify this, let's remote into one of these nodes and just see if that file was created. So I'll go into node three here. Then I'll do an LS and you can see that the new file was created. So that's how easy it is to use the raw module. This module is gonna be very helpful when you're using Ansible. So I hope this video was helpful. If you wanna learn more about Ansible or DevOps in general, then please go ahead and check out my channel. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next video.